turn there, 1 Corinthians 15. All right. Okay. 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 Thank you, Kelsey. All right, buddy. I want to just give you a verse tonight as we come in. And I, I think this is a fantastic film. I really do. And, and, and James, let me tell you why I like this. These films are produced by two Christian brothers who go to Sherwood Baptist Church in uh, Georgia. All of the actors are Christians, okay? And I get what you're talking about. There's a, you know, it's, it's different than uh, some doctrinal Christian film. It is. Uh, but what a message. I think there's a great message here. Do you remember what the man, what the black, dear black man asked, um, I can't remember the guy's name, the coach. What did he ask him? He can't. Okay. Well, initially, okay, that's what he said last. But what did he ask first? Who are you? Okay, and that's the question I want to ask you. Or another way is, what defines you? What defines you? When you think of Bill Gates, what do you think of? Money. The devil. Okay, no. What? <laughs> okay. Microsoft. He's he's defined by Microsoft, right? Okay. When you think of Muhammad Ali, what do you think of? Box. He's a boxer. Yeah. Okay. Every one of us are defined by something. And when that when that guy came into that that room, he asked him, "Well, who are you? What? Well, I'm a coach, and I'm a teacher. Oh, well, what if that was taken away? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm a dad. <laughs> I'm a husband. Okay, God forbid if that's taken away, what? And then he said, "Well, I don't don't you know kind of game this is." He said, "This isn't a game. I'm I'm asking you, who are you? Who are you? Okay, now." What I want to do is give you some scripture tonight to kind of, I, I want you to ask yourself as you go to, as you, as you leave tonight, not just who am I, but who do people think I am? Right? To put it in a simple term, what kind of testimony do you have? Paul said to the Corinthians, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you, verse 1, the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein you stand, by which also you are saved, if you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. Okay? <clears throat> For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Everyone? Verse 4. And that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Okay? This is the definition of the gospel, the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. How he was seen of Cephas, that's Peter, the surname for Peter. And of the twelve, after that he was seen of above five hundred brethren, right? At once, of whom the greater part remain under this present. But some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James and all the apostles. Last of all, he was seen of me as of one born out of due time. Mm. Verse 9, everyone. For I am the least of the apostles that am not me to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. He's basically recounting like he did in Timothy, right, Bob? He's saying, I'm the chiefest of sinners. I mean, Paul had an innate, that's a great word, isn't it? Innate. He had an innate humility 
that God gave him because he always looked back and he remembered the blood of Stephen pouring on that ground. Mm -mm. And he consented unto his death. All right? And how good, the Lord Jesus had to slap him down on the road to Damascus. Literally. And here it is, verse 10, that goes along with our film tonight. Everyone? But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God, which was with me. God's people said, amen. Folks, look, I am not all I ought to be. I confess it. Not all I ought to be. But I am certainly not what I was. <laughs> Amen? I'm not what I was. The old man, the drummer, the guy who ran around with Jerry Garcia and the Grateful Dead, and the beer-drinking, pot-smoking rebel that had no time for God, that mocked the Christian in the store. I hope I meet that guy in heaven. I'm not that guy anymore. I'm a new creature in Christ. And Paul is saying that. He said, I was, I, I was injurious, man. I was, I was a blasphemer. But he said, that's not what I am anymore. I'm a new creature in Christ. By the grace of God, I am what I am. And that's what the coach came to realize, I believe. All right. Let's get into this and let's watch the rest of this. Maybe uh, scroll it back a few minutes and...